Hello, and welcome to our video on Find My Font SAI Edition. With your Flexi 19 subscription, you will now get access to a free license of Find My Font. This is an application used by sign makers to identify a font based on a photo or a screenshot. If I open up my Flexi, on the right hand side in my cloud window, I see this option, download, find my font. To download the program, you just need to click this option. It will bring you to a website and you can download the executable by clicking this button. Once it is downloaded, it's very easy to run through the installation process. So I run the executable and I follow the basic steps and the program will be installed for me in seconds. Now if I come to my desktop, I'll find the SAI Find My Font Edition. If you have to sign in, you just sign in with the username and password for your SAI Cloud account. Like so. When you sign in, the application will quickly restart and then you're able to go ahead with identifying your fonts. It's possible to use either a screenshot or open an image to identify a particular font. We're going to use some of the example files here and see what we come up with. So, the first one we're going to look at is this Whistler example. On the left hand side of my screen, I have the letter selection tool selected and then I can just click on the letters like so to add them into our letter selection below. If you click on a wrong part, it's very easy to just select the X here to remove that. Once I've selected the letters I want to match, I can either select the match any letter button, which is a lot slower, or I can type the text for the letters that I have selected. Like so. When I'm ready, I can either select to search online or locally or both. The local search will search only for fonts which are installed on your computer and the online search will expand it and it will search the online archives of Find My Font for a better match for your font. So I select the matching font button and it will process. Fonts that come up in red are not installed on my operating system but the ones that come up in green are. The number on the left hand side is a number between 1 and 100, almost a percentage of how accurate the match is. As we can see, this is very similar to the font that I selected. But if we scroll down, we might decide that actually the one that I already have installed is correct for me. But if you want to search the font online, you can select it right click and select view slash find this font online. You can also copy the name if you prefer to look yourself. If you select that option, it will take you to the find my font website where it will bring up the details about the font. Here, it will give us some options of where we can find our, the font, whether it's up for purchase or available for free, as well as full information about the font name, the character set, and also the ability to type in some custom examples like so, and play around with the size and italics and boldness. Okay, so now we understand the basic concept of how the product works. Let's have a look at some of the options that we have. So on the left hand side, we have our toolbar. The zoom tool we can use to zoom in on our text, for example if it's very small. 
the image correction and deformation tool, we will cover in more detail shortly, the letter splitter tool, we will also look at, and the baseline rotation tool. The only other tools that we uh, can really highlight are the rotational tools just for 90 degrees clockwise and anti-clockwise. But first, let's look at some of the other tools that they offer for selecting our fonts. First of all, let's have a look at the baseline rotation tool. If I select my font like this on a slant, it's going to struggle to recognize the letters because they aren't in the same orientation as the font will be when it's searching. In this case, we can just use the baseline rotation tool. We click and drag at the bottom of our text, like so, and it's going to rotate the image so it's now at the correct orientation. Again, if it's still not quite correct, we can select underneath the line of our image again and it's going to rotate it. Then when we are ready, we can select our letters like so and find my font will have no problem reading these at all. The next example we're going to have a look at is the letter splitting tool. So if I open this image here for craft shop and I start selecting some letters I see that the T and the S have been selected at the same time which isn't going to be very helpful for us if we're trying to uh, identify specific letters for this font. In this case we can just use our letter splitting tool to draw a line between these two letters, like so. And then when I come back to my letter selection tool and I select my T and my S, find my font now understands that there has to be a line in between these letters. This is going to be very helpful for font which is connected to each other. Finally, we're going to have a look at the image correction and deformation tool. So let's say I'm browsing the internet and I see an image that I would like to find the uh, font for. I come to find my font and I take the screenshot. It's going to capture this whole image, but some objects are very, very small. I can use the image correction and deformation tool shrink this box till it fits over the area I desire and then select the enlarge button like so. It's going to bring up the area I selected in a larger size than it was before. This makes it a lot easier for us to select the letters that we want and to easily search for fonts that will match our design. And there we are. Now this is also useful for adjusting perspective. So if we take this image for example, at the moment it's going to be very difficult for us to identify the font because the letters are hard for the software to identify um, when they are at an angle like so. So I need to come back to the image correction and deformation tool. I will need to check the Fix Perspective button at the top and now I need to angle this so it's correctly placed over the corners of my sign. I can do this simply by holding Shift and then clicking and dragging the corners of this box to match the corners of my sign. Like so. And as you will see in the shifting preview in the top left. It's going to angle my sign so the perspective is now from the front rather than at an angle. So now if I select my letters like so, type my matching text 
like so. And then I run the matching software. The first font it finds is most likely the font which was used to make this sign. Thank you for joining us for our guide on Find My Font SAI Edition. I hope that we have demonstrated some of the powerful tools this software can use to help you identify fonts that you spot on the internet or in photographs.